Hello and welcome to Checkpoint Reach Podcast and uh, yeah, a bit of an off-the-cuff video because there's been some breaking news. Uh, I'm Luke and I'm joined by Sud. How you doing, mate? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Some breaking news for us here. I know. And Exciting. Well, well, well <laughs> exciting. Exciting I'm news in terms of like, you know, yeah. it breaking, but... Yeah. Well, as the title suggested and why you've probably clicked on the video, Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed until December. It's yet another delay for Cyberpunk now. It's going to be delayed again by 21 days with a new release date set for December 10th, 2020. CJ Project Red, um, CD Project Red, sorry, uh, announced this via um, a statement on Twitter and essentially have put it down to the immense task of shipping Cyberpunk across nine consoles and two generations of hardware. Um, some Here's some state of quotes anyway from the same and the biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen and next gen and pc at the same time which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of it the co-founders adam badowski and marcin iwinski have i pronounced their names wrong probably but there we are <laughs> yeah so i mean oh, disappointing what is there mate. to say again another delay another. i tell you do you know you know one person uh, shout out to uh james perkins he did say. He's Perks, the uh, the ex member of the Chat One Reach podcast, who uh, did. Uh, he was. He, I mean, he was annoyed with the first delay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. Well, I say first delay, the third delay, whatever it was, to to November. So I, I, I can't imagine what his reactions. He's probably not even surprised. I imagine. Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, yeah, another delay. I mean, I guess the only good thing is it is only three weeks, which isn't disastrous, I guess. It's, uh, you not know, it not if you go off some of the uh, comments on their Twitter oh, no, post, mate. No. What, I mean, one well, guy says, honestly, at this point, I've got left to say is fuck you. <laughs> there are people who have rescheduled their off work days four times now because you guys kept saying there won't be another delay. You say you push back the date to avoid crunch, but workers have been doing crunch for a year now. And, uh, yeah, you got some likes on that. So I mean, there's a lot of well, people very angry, I think, at the moment. Yeah, no, I can understand it. But at the same time, I will say that you know, I, I don't know about you. I'd still, if there was going to be like some even small problem with the game, I'd still rather it just than delay it a little bit and it than not be a problem. Well, this doesn't seem to be a problem with the game, does it? This, no, this to no, do with shipping. Shipping and yeah, but they, I think, do they say they're going to like they're not going to go? So there's no, there's no chance of like it's not to do with like they're not going to go back and fix anything else or because the game was technically not... old, so the game's ready to play. I mean, it's ready. Yeah, playable back to front. You know, it's ready. So. That's what is mental about this, really, because, I mean, I saw a tweet from someone from IGN uh, saying um, there's only been two games he can remember that have been delayed after going gold. Um, one of them was Army of Two, which was a game on uh, I think 360 and PS3, mm-hmm. and uh, NBA Elite 11, which actually got cancelled even though it went gold, which is a really odd. Yeah, that is odd, but I'm pretty sure Cyberpunk will not be getting cancelled. No, well, I wouldn't even imagine that in like three weeks. Actually, sorry, lads. Sorry, we've decided to scrap it. it. Yeah. yeah. I tell you what, it does do that. It puts even more pressure on the game because 100%. I tell you what, now, look, if this game isn't like a 9.5 or 10 out of 10 game, then there's going to be a lot of disappointed people because the hype builds even more now, doesn't it? Because there's just more time for the game and more pressure. They've had so many delays. People, if there's any any bugs now or glitches, people are going to be like, that's unacceptable because of yeah. how many times you've delayed it. Which is kind of fair because yeah, they have I, delayed I, I, it. What, what is this now? The third or fourth? Fourth delay, I think fourth. this will be now. I think a fourth, third or fourth. So, Man, that is rough I mean, going. I mean, you know, we, we've seen games get delayed maybe once, even twice. I think, you know, I remember was it Red Dead Two that got delayed a couple of times? Yeah, it did. Mm-hmm. But you know, it, it did eventually come out. It's like, does this? Do you reckon this game's just not even real? Like, it's just all hope. <laughs> hope. We'll get to the release date. Can you imagine that? Oh, you're going down a rabbit day, hole there, Paul. We get to the release date, and it's just the biggest hoax in gaming history. The game never existed. <laughs> it was just a, a, a you know, a CD Projekt Red playing a joke on us all. I think, uh, <laughs> I think, I think people are so disappointed because we're so close as well. Mm. And you're told, "Don't worry, there won't be another delay," as that guy um, touched on with the tweet in re- response to the statement. And then you get hit again out of nowhere, another delay. It's like getting hit by an RKO out of nowhere again. It's like, <laughs> like Randy Orton, you know. Yeah. Uh, wrestling analogy there for anyone there. I, well, I think most people know RKO out yeah. of nowhere now. Like when, it's like, Cyberpunk yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> Again. Delay out of nowhere. Um, I mean, I'm going to say, is this it now? Do you think there'll be another delay? Oh, we're delaying it till March. Like, surely not. This has to March. be it now. Well, I'm just saying this has to be it. There can't be another delay now, surely. 
I mean, they'll turn a lot of people off if there is. I bet, bet just... people are on the edge now, it, but There'll you're going to want to play it because it's, oh, yeah. you know, CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk looks, I mean, it looks quality, but... It's almost at that stage where it's like, do I wait to have it as a Christmas game? But I don't know if I will be able to wait. I think I'm just going to play it straight away. Still. Uh, yeah, I'll probably It's like a weird, like, release. there is a weird, isn't there? Like, ah, it's only two weeks till Christmas, do I wait? But I don't know. I think I'm just probably still going to get it on release. Honest with you. Because I feel like by then I'll have played, like, some of the launch games. Mm-hmm. You know that we, you know, like we said before, aren't we? Maybe we're going to get like Spider-Man and games like Art, and maybe Assassin's Creed. So maybe by then we'll have played those games. Yeah, true. So might be it might be good in that way in a sense. Although you know, I'd rather still like come out on the day the PS5 comes out. To be honest, but same. I must admit though, I uh, I don't know because I'm not massively hyped. Oh. As in, I am looking forward to the game, but I'm not overhyped. That this delay to me, I'm a I'm bit sorry. like, yeah, it's disappointing, but I can live with it. However, I can understand people who are angry at this because it's a fourth delay, and they oh, yeah, they're extremely yeah. hyped, and and then you're getting this close, and then it's another delay. It's just another th- well, thing that's going wrong. No, I've got to be honest. With you, I'm the same as you. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to the game, but I'm not overhyped either because. I don't know about you. I haven't really watched anything on the game, really. I, I've seen bits and pieces, but yeah, you know how they, bits early on. they've been doing all these um, what were they called, like night wire something mm-hmm. or other, like the the sort of videos where they do like half an hour videos of the game. Yeah. I've watched like little snippets, but I've not seen the full videos, so I don't. I've got to be honest, I don't even fully know like everything that's in the game or about the game. So, mm-hmm. and I wanted it to be like that. Yeah, I wanted to go in with an open yeah, mind and blind sort. Of. Just trust CD Projekt Red in there. The only uh, thing vision. I know about is the, uh, like the, you know the three you can start at different starting paths and then mm-hmm. you choose like Street Kid or exec. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's all I know. So I don't. I mean some of the vehicles as well, but apart from that, I don't really know anything about the game, which is kind of good, cool. Do you think so many people board. will be turned off by this? Make it no, like I don't a think, so. I think and not it'll lie. be a it'll be a minority on Twitter that say they don't play it, and then you'll see like if you went on their profile on PlayStation, they'd be on it straight away day one. So you know, <laughs> I, I I don't think this will affect much to be honest with you. If anything, it might actually it might even garner a few more sales because I'm thinking uh, I'm just thinking now this is a bit of a conspiracy theory. Do you think they've done this on purpose to get away from the launch? Oh, the launch of the um the consoles. Yeah, because maybe they're thinking ah oh, maybe people will be playing like Spider Man and some of the games on Xbox and. Obviously, you know, Cyberpunk's a massive game. It's going to be played by loads anyway, but maybe they would have missed out on a few sales. So maybe you get putting it to December 10th. Oh, everyone's played the launch games now. now oh, what's out now? Oh, December, Cyberpunk. But wouldn't it work in the other way? Um, people get the new console. There's not actually many games out for the new consoles. And then you get Cyberpunk. Mm. And it's just like, True. yeah, I want to play it on my new hardware. I guess this one of the first games you bought. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah there's plenty yeah. of ways to look at it, isn't there? Look, I think this game's going to sell well regardless, isn't it? Yeah, to I be agree. With you. Uh, I, I I can't see it not being a critical hit as well. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. if it isn't a critical hit now, it's a massive failure, really. Like to you honest. touched on earlier, yeah. No, it, if this doesn't knock out of the park the, after mm. the delays and the, if there's any sort of bugs in it, they are going to get uh, some pretty negative backlash on that. That is for sure. Mm. Well, I'll tell you one thing, it won't be in contention for Game of the Year now, will it? Because them Game Awards are before. Like, they're usually like end of November, so mm-hmm. Jeff Keighley's Game Awards, so I don't think we'll be seeing it in the, in that category now. Probably next year's. Yeah. So, that's interesting. I'll have to wait. But yeah, if you are watching the video, please subscribe, like the video, and also comment with your thoughts below on uh, Cyberpunk 2077 delay. How disappointed are you by this news, and uh, has it put you off buying it, maybe? Or are you still going to buy it anyway? Just let us know in the comments below, as I'll be interested to know. And uh, thanks for joining me as ever, Sud. We'll be back later this week, actually, to do a podcast. Podcast Probably talk about this in more depth, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.